I'm taking hits for you. Welcome back. Welcome to some more Alex G. If you didn't see my race review or my trick video, feel free to check those ones out. I'd say we're listening to House of Sugar based off of y'all recommendations. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know more about Alex G. Uh, I love and appreciate all y'all. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe and drop your Alex G or any other artist recommendations down in the comments. I love and appreciate all y'all. Yeah, we're just going to hopefully listen to this catch a vibe. If you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see this uncut, check out my Patreon. Shout out to those who are subscribed. Love all y'all. Number one is Walk Away. Already, um, <laughs> one of the longer Alex G songs I've ever heard. First of all, I gotta take into account, you know, the gap of time between Trick and Race and this album. You know, I mean, he's had a lot of albums in between, so I'm, I'm sure there was an evolution of his sound and, you know, him, you know, being inspired by different things and different genres. Uh, the writing there was, you know, obviously simple, but I think the production is the main aspect that I'm sort of focusing on. Everything was just you know, sounded so layered, and it sounded like he truly aged there. I think my favorite part about the production was a little reversed effect happening on the drums. I, I don't think I'd recognize that as him if I heard it without, you know, a name to it. Anyways, let's get number two now, which is Hope. Jesus, love that song. First of all, I'm going to like these two songs first. I'm actually really shocked at how much I like that one. Um, I can, I can, you can definitely tell it's Alex G on that one for sure. But I feel like the production on that one is just 
so much more extravagant. And it, I think it makes the subject matter of what he's talking about such a grim topic of maybe a friend that he knew, you know, ODing. You know, it's just it's, it makes it so much more impactful to me. I'm enjoying this. Let's let's keep listening. Jack number three is Southern Sky. Okay, I'm, I'm actually surprised with how much that track did grow on me. When I heard the piano in the beginning, I was like, ooh. And then I heard, you know, the female vocals kind of pop in as well. I love the melody. I love the chorus on that. And that's also something that I forgot to mention that I loved on track two as well. I feel like the melodies on this are so strong so far. And just the progression of that track as well is something that I just found so enjoyable. And I, I, I think I'm going to be returning so far to these first three tracks a bunch over the next, you know, couple weeks. Anyways, let's get into number four now, which is Gretel. <laughs> This is kind of kind of dark. I don't know what kind of sampling is going on there. I don't know what kind of production. But that bass line had me fucking going. That shit had me going. That was an absolute banger. Absolute banger. So far, this album is showing me a lot of just different variations of what he's of what he of what he's got in his bag. You know what I'm saying? I mean you I mean you can't bring him down. You can't bring him down. It's just not possible. It's not possible. Let's go to track number five now, which is taking.
Okay. I like that nice little switch up from what we had going on here. You know, I feel like I'm just on the back of the Polar Express. Does that make sense? That was great, though. I mean, I didn't like those as much as the first four songs, but I feel like that was just... I, I'm going to call that one just a little transition. But I feel like the rest of the, of the songs on the album are very short. I'm really hoping this isn't front-loaded. Let's get number six now, which is Near. <laughs> drums thinks he's an electronic producer i guess he is i guess he is because honestly i like that i thought it was playful and i feel like the sound of that kind of mimics i don't know what the the vibe going on the album cover the girl dancing i, I could definitely see her dancing to that song right there but i, I mean I don't, I don't i don't think that that song was necessarily really completed or might you not even have a concept to it because it's just called it's just called project two i love the color blue let's get number eight now which is a bad man like that instrumental i'm not rocking with his vocals on that one really you know what i'm saying i'm not a, i'm not a heat map i'm not a massive fan i'm not a massive fan um if that's for you that's for you i don't really it, it's just subjective it's just subjective his vocals on there weren't really for me but everything else i thought was great everything else i thought was great let's get number nine though which is sugar I, th I think we've seen him twist his vocals into many different, you know, formats. But that on that on there was was something different. That uh, that on uh, that was on 
just a, a, a different level. I gotta say that this is probably his most diverse album easily so far. But I do still find the first four songs undefeated. But that's just that's just me. Let's get number ten now, which is in my arms. Yeah, and I, I feel like that's I feel like that style, I'm um, I'm the most you know drawn to, you know, it, you know, and I feel like songs like that is just you know more of a updated version of you know the sound that he had way back. So love songs like those. I love his writing, and you know the melody, everything about that song I thought was amazing. <laughs> like I, I feel like i could i could definitely like put this song on and make love in a field i think i would like that let's get into number 12 now which is crime <laughs> So if I'm correct, I feel like the sound of that is like maybe like a little bit of like alternative country. You know, I feel like tracks like that, I feel like are the best because it's still very well Alex G. I feel like I, I feel like I can really hear Alex talking about this love running out with this person. He, he's sending a little bit of a threat to them at the end of this saying, hey, you better not, you better not do some crazy shit because I'm already leaving anyways. Love that one. And it's, it, it's so funny hearing a four minute Alex G song. I don't know why. It's just like... 
you always expect it to end, but then it keeps going. saxophone was that a sax i love that saxophone i love his vocals out on that as well it didn't even feel live by the end of that i feel like you know incorporating the crowd aspect into it is just a, a, such a great way to make this album feel more alive and i feel like this album does that best i feel like each instrumental just feels so alive in a way and although i think overall it kind of falls off a little bit halfway through i think it has a really strong ending and i this might be personally personally this might be my favorite alex g record um that's just what i think i can completely see if someone would be like fuck no to that to that to that opinion but i just love you know the versatility on here and i think that i would come to appreciate this more if i knew a lot of his you know work a few years prior to what he was doing rather than you know shit that he was doing nine years this album's five years old that's kind of crazy 2019 damn fuck but yeah, if I'm looking at this track list right now, I do have to say that favorite tracks probably Walk Away, Hope, my favorite song, Gretel, Banger, uh, In My Arms, another great one, Cow, Crime. And a lot of highlights off here, I feel like I'm definitely going to be going back to a lot of songs off this more than Race. Uh, I feel like with, for this and Trick, it's kind of head to head for me right now. That's the, what I like the most. Uh, if I'm going to check out any more Alex G, I know he has actually quite a bit more albums. You know, drop me those recommendations. I love and appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe if you want. Thank you to my patrons. I love all y'all. And have a have a splendid one. Have a splendid one.